work harder and trust the process and you'll lose weight? What if I told you that was only half the story? I'm Justin Bauer. My team and I have transformed over 8,000 career-driven women within the last few years alone. And having hundreds of conversations per week for the last six years, I have firsthand seen how these motivational quotes hold you back. We are going to be challenging those beliefs that you have around fitness and fat loss. And by the end of this video, you'll know why working harder is a myth and what you should be doing instead. So no pain, no gain. You got to want it. Give it more time. These are all messages that we've been fed. But what I do love about these quotes is they push you to make changes. They keep you showing up and going a little longer. But where they completely miss the mark is they don't consider the actions that we're taking. For example, if you're at Orange Theory four days a week and you're cutting out bread and pasta on the weekdays and you're at a six month plateau with 25 pounds to go, the answer here isn't more Orange Theory or eliminating carbs entirely. And we've been conditioned to think go longer, push harder and sacrifice more is the answer, but it is only part of the story. There are three camps that women tend to fall into on a fitness journey. Camp number one is we have action, but we have the wrong direction. If we take the same lady from that example and force five Orange Theory classes per week and seven days without bread, if more of what we're doing isn't leading to results, this strategy needs to change. It's like driving a car faster, but we're going the wrong direction. And those 25 pounds aren't going to fall off no matter how much we push. Now, obviously action needs to happen, but your body is simply a reflection of your inputs. And this is where giving it more time isn't actually good advice. With the right approach, you should be seeing one or two pounds come off a week and a plateau shouldn't last for more than two weeks. But what changes everything for this person is shifting up the strategy. You already work hard. You already know how to grind. We just need to follow the right roadmap. And this is specific nutrition targets with protein and calories, a fitness program focused on resistance training. That's what's going to lead to real results. And the woman in this camp can be totally unstoppable, but the only thing holding them back is themselves. And I'll explain at the end. Camp number two is too much direction, not enough action. This can be overwhelmed or paralysis by analysis. You have ideas, you might know where you need to go, but you're either burned out or not sure how to start. Or you might be thinking hard work and sacrifice, but beat yourself up when you can't stick with keto as a night shift nurse with three kids. Trust me, it is not your fault. In either camp, we take actions with mixed results and get frustrated. And it gets to the point where we go from just wanting it to finally doing what it takes to make it work. And after transforming over a thousand busy women, the answer wasn't ever doing more. It was about doing things differently. In fact, losing 20 to 30 pounds for good might look nothing like you'd expect. Which brings us to camp number three, the right direction and the right actions. This is where results finally start to happen and we lose weight once and for all. This is when someone shifts from hoping and praying it'll work to seeing consistent results. And this is where everyone wants to be, it's just getting there is tricky. And I know this totally sucks to hear, but if we're not seeing the results we want and we don't have a clear path to success, there's most likely a blind spot that we're not seeing. For example, focusing on protein intake rather than just eating clean, resistance training is better for your metabolism than cardio, and a McDouble has 23 grams of protein but isn't allowed on any conventional diet. Now imagine you had the exact path from point A to point B, not only for yourself, but imagine you helped five people do the exact same thing. If you had to restart your journey, what things would you do differently? What would you be thinking differently? Chances are you'd be taking very different actions than you are right now. So what I'm trying to say in this video is this. Hard work doesn't automatically equate to success, but the right strategy, even with minimal effort, is what leads to success. And when you combine the right strategy with hard work, you make magic. As I mentioned earlier, the hardest part about being stuck in the hard work myth is you're probably stubborn and tenacious, and that's a very good thing, but we need to change our strategy and fix those blind spots that we're not seeing. Tons of our clients came in with the exact same mindset set before they met us. Here's Jenny, a type A healthcare executive, worked out insanely hard, but frustrated, burned out, wondering why she wasn't seeing better results. Came to us, fixed her blind spots, lost 20 something pounds, and has a killer physique. Jerry at 61 lost 30 pounds after yo-yo dieting for 15 years, and everything happened here from a few tweaks to the strategy. And I personally spent 10 months of my life exercising six days a week, doing these insufferable diets, and binge eating on Sunday days because I felt so deprived. All because it was a highly motivated person, but forced myself the wrong direction. Once I changed the strategy, fitness fits seamlessly into my lifestyle and the rest was history. And that's why we create so many videos on this channel to show busy women
women like you an easier path forward. Now, I know this was a very intense mindset video. So if you're a busy woman struggling to lose fat and we're now open to a different strategy, make sure to check out some of the other videos on this channel. Leave a comment about your story down below and make sure to subscribe.